here we go again. Get on the road and see what this microphone makes any difference. Pull up here. Let's get back out on here. We're going to go on to town. So let's see what happens. Go on to town. Let's see what it does with some road noise underneath it. We got to put that down. That's right, they're down now. All right, off we go to the trash can again. The dumpster. Get this thing rocking and rolling. And we'll see what it does. Today we are going to the dog park. Yeah, the dog is excited, I guess, but we're going to the dog park and then we're going to go by the RTR Rubber Tramp Rendezvous and uh, see what that is about today. And so come along with us and as we get to Quartzsite, this is Highway 95. So we're going to go back into town. More RVers coming in. And the RV show is starting uh, next week. We're starting on the 20, I believe, and 19th and 20th, maybe 20th. And the Big Ten. Be open on that time. RV show is already actually going on. You can actually walk through them and uh, look around. Some nice rigs in there. Some of them very expensive. Up the neighborhood of half a million dollars. So uh, that's a lot of money for an RV, but that's that's all right, I guess. I'd rather stick with my bus, it's a lot cheaper. I don't know what that was. It's like some sort of some sort of military truck or something hard. Alright, we are at the intersection of Coon Street, which to the left is Tyson Wells. The big flea market extravaganza. Go down there we'll have to walk down because there's no parking for this big bus it's uh, pretty limited back there and we're only about a mile away so it's pretty easy to walk to so we're crossing i-10 this road has no access to 95 i-10 so you have to go down about a mile and get off the access road and come in behind on Main Street, which is right ahead of us. And it looks like from the traffic line, they're, they're doing road construction. There's miles and miles of one lane traffic on I-10 right now. Would not be a good place to go. All right, here we go. We're heading towards East Main Street, towards the dog park. More motorhomes on the right. There's a Sprinter van for $191,000. And the other ones are $139,000, $194,000, And they're not cheap. Roadrunner Market on the left. And the other little market is Coyote. And it's right here coming up on the left, right next to the Family Dollar Store. Coyote right there, and the Family Dollar is right there, and we're going to the next street toward the dog park. Plymouth Avenue will lead you right to the main park, reach it to the RTR and to the dog park. 
this town for being as small as it is, about 2,000, 2,500 people, has an 80 acre park system down here. So that's a huge park for this area. But a lot of it is used for the people who come down for the winter, I'm sure. You probably can't take your dog out too much when it's 130 degrees outside in the summertime. Okay. We'll turn it off and we'll catch up to dog park in a minute. This traffic on the left is the parking for the RTR, which is in the ball field. Uh, a lot of RVs, vans, and things are here. We're going to park at the dog park and walk over. It should be an easier access parking for us. Which is only about a block away, so I think we can get. Yep, it looks pretty empty in the dog park, so we're good. Okay, we'll check in. And here we are at the dog park. This one is ready to go out and play with some pups. Right over there is the big dog area. This is all grass, they water it, and uh, it's really nice for the dogs. And on this side is the medium and there's another access for a small dog. So that's a lot of area for dogs out here. And then right behind that is the RTR, which you'll be walking over to. So I think he's ready to go play with some dogs. Are you ready to go play with some pups? Are you ready to go play with some dogs? Let's zoom out here. There you go. There you go. You ready to play with some pups? All right, he's ready. We are back, went to the dog park, got to play with other dogs, now he's really tired. Walked over to the RTR, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, listened to a couple of things, got to meet Bob Wells, the uh, Cheap RV Living YouTube. Um, today was a meet and greet day, so we got to meet him. I'll try to insert a picture, but yeah, I got to meet with Bob for a few moments and now we're heading to probably family dollar so we'll catch up when we get there and we have made it back to Main Street Quartzite. We're going to go to the Family Dollar just around the corner. So we'll see if we can get in there. The traffic. Left is Patty's propane, so you can get propane and things there. Family Dollar on the right with Coyote grocery stores. We're actually going to go to both, so let's see if we can find a place to park this 39 foot bus. Uh, here we go, get in here. Oh, all right. The court site is pretty friendly on big rigs. Kind of got to work at it, figure where to get in and out of. So we'll try to park this over here in this back corner. It's another hard part is it's backing up. I hope we don't bump into somebody that runs behind us. All right, okay, here we go. or hit a wall. One more time. Little corner part. Alright. We are in business. 
Alright, well, we're gonna head into the family dollar. Okay, made it into the family dollar. Looking for the dog section. So when I go through the videos, I'll put out places that are dog friendly. And look, dogs are welcome in the family dollar, which is good because he doesn't like to be alone. So let's go check down to the next aisle here and find some dog treats. Here we go. We got the bus parked in there. Kind of a tight spot, but we made it. So now we head over to the next stop on court side. Let's quick trip around. This is Coyote Grocery Store. Got all your basics. Milk. Peanut butter jelly. Produce section. Everything you need in the little store and pretty good meat department, which is right around the corner. Really busy in the meat department. Really good meat. More vegetables, so. And sometimes dogs are welcome. Also have wine and beer in here. So all your one-stop needs. Got some more groceries. Heading back towards the bus. This dog of mine, you can see him. Not there, but he has separation anxiety. So he barks the entire time I'm gone. A little higher, you can see his little face in there. There he is. Sitting there waiting for me to get back. Drools and spits and barks and barks until I get back. There he is again. Hard to see with the glare, but he's in there somewhere. There he is. And here's what I'm talking about. When I leave, he covers and spit. So it's just a steering wheel. Look at it, just piles of spit and drool all over the place. So that's one of the advantages or having a big great Pyrenees that likes to drool. Now after our next stop. Our next stop will be if they're open. The Moon Mountain Mail. It is a holiday, Martin Luther King Day, so don't know if they're open, but we'll drive by and see. And this parking lot at Coyote is small and gravel. So, we'll just have to get around, but especially in a bus or an RV or a trailer. Sometimes it's easier to have an ATV and just whip in and out. So, and it's not too smooth as we go out on the road. So, hopefully, we don't dump a bunch of things. Or run over somebody on bicycles or whatever because this traffic is picking up. And I think we are ready to. Almost ready to go. One more car coming. Another van. We got to go right, so we got to go around. Okay, now we're on the road. There's a road runner on the right. I have not been there yet, but I understand that is the brother of the one that owns the coyote. So, um, I 
guess there's a story involved, but I don't know the story. Uh, two grocery stores only a half a block away from each other. But uh, the Coyote and Roadrunner are the two grocery stores. There's a, a Dollar General and a Panga Dollar. And yep, ran that red light. Okay. There we go. On the right is the giant moments flea market. And all kinds of uh, yard sale things and whatever. Rocks and wood. And we're going to go across the, call it the bouncy bridge. You get a, sometimes you get a pretty good bump up and down. So you got to watch traffic because they're just no telling what's parked out here. Solar bills on the right. I need to ask them a question. And this is the way to Moon Mountain Mail. It looks like they're open. I see vehicles in front of the building, so I've got a package to pick up. So we'll go in here. Pick up a package. There's Moon Mountain Mail. Pick up a package and be back in just a moment. On our way to go to package, Moon Mountain Mail just ahead of us. Salvation Army thrift store here. I think there's like three thrift stores in this little town. So, but we're headed to there. Get our mail. The dog's got to do his sniffing. Check out all the rocks that have been Mark since last time he was here. And then it's a beautiful day today. It's about 65, 67 degrees. Sunshine as you can see. Cactus around. And uh, hardly any wind. So let's go get our package. Back to the bus. Then we're packed in. You may figure out why I'm, or wonder why I'm always backing in, but I learned over the years of driving, especially in company vehicles, it's better to back in while you're in the vehicle because you've got some awareness around you instead of coming in later on, just walking right in and backing up. So uh, always back in if I can. And two, if the bus breaks down again, they can tow from the front, easy access. So it's kind of a dual coverage. So we'll head back here and head towards camp. One more stop coming up. This is the area. Looks like I think they had the Camel Palooza this last week. Camels brought in, camel rides. There's a reconstruction or saving of a area they've got covered for an old dwelling and they had amusement ferris wheels and big event they don't think they had camel races but they had a camel parade and so uh i didn't see that but this town was very big in the camels back in the 1860s they had the first trials area of the Army Camel Corps that the Army was going to bring camels in to withstand the desert heat and use them instead of horses and mules but um, it didn't last too long it never got into uh, fruition and I think they said the camels were basically let free in the desert and they went back to the horses and the mules and this thing turned out that one little bit sign. 
Got lots of signs and mirrors. All right, here we go. Now we're at our last stop. Which I thought was the last time, but this is going to be our last stop. We're at the Big Market Hardware and Liquor Store. So, yes, hardware and liquor. You can go in and get your nails and then get hammered. Just a little play on words. Let's go see what they have. We've gotten the last of our items. We've got some stain, some things we can finish a project or two inside this bus. Working on some shelving, so I need to stain it and uh, get it ready to put up. So, let's see if we can get out of this parking lot. Dollar General parking lot. Head back to camp. Back on Main Street. Traffic's not too bad today. Uh, I'd say maybe medium, not really heavy, but it is January and Monday. So it's not, not that bad. RV parks in this town. I heard there were up to 50 RV parks. Um, it's very possible because they're just everywhere. And what I can tell, every one of them is pretty much packed. So uh, people come down and stay here for the winter, which is what I am doing because my hometown yesterday was one degree. Wind chills of Kitchen to 20 below, and here in Quartzsite, it was 65 degrees sunshine. So, a much nicer weather. If you enjoy the warm weather, if you enjoy cold weather, you just got to go north. Oh, food trucks everywhere. And Jewelry stores, firewood, I think you name it, you can probably find it here somewhere. You have to go off the road or back in behind someplace to find it, but you can get there. Right, we're going to turn and go back on 95. stop at this time and take it right on red. You was 80 miles south port side and then the uh, Yuma Proving Grounds, the U.S. Army Testing Grounds, is about 60 miles away. We do all the testing for vehicles, and bombs, and etc., artillery, and weapons, and vehicles. And we're back over I-10 and. Campside entrance is only about a half a mile from the stoplight, so it's really easy to get to. Easy to walk down here uh, when traffic is busy. 
a lot easier to walk than just to try and drive this bus everywhere. And we are back in our camping area. So we'll leave it at that. Get over the speed bump. Everybody have a good one. And we'll catch you later.